Midnight Scenes, a short game by Octavi Navarro. Why does that name sound familiar? That's just the intro. Rise and shine, everyone. My name is Lazy Gamer, and welcome to a game called Midnight Scenes. This is another one I found on Game Jolt or Itch.io. I'll provide a link at the end if I can be re bothered to remember clearly. And I guess we're just jumping right into it. Claire Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tire. Ah, uh, this is an English game. A flat tire delayed Claire's trip. She Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever, and as well as her perception as of reality. Whoops. Tonight's episode. The highway. Oh, midnight scenes. Is this gonna be like the Twilight Zone? Tonight's episode. An unexpected obstacle. A new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Oh, Christ. Oh, that's a pause. Hmm. Okay. Sad. Okay. <laughs> Solid. Missing. Missing. Okay, let's just go in then. Jesus. Whoops. No, go back. I'm sorry, your cable cutters are locked up. I guess not. All right, so we have to find some sort of key. I don't know, any of that, a scarecrow maybe? Broken mop? I don't, Jesus, I don't know what to do here. It needs both arms to open. Um. Huh. Boom. I'm a puzzle solving guy. This is really cool. This is an interesting style. I don't I'm not usually one for uh, point and click games unless it's really captures my interest, but clearly when I downloaded it, it must have Oh my god. I'm just gonna come in if that's alright. I'm just gonna leave if that's alright. When I was looking at it, I must have seen something cool about it, because I did this forever ago. I don't really remember. Ooh. Okay, so... And then... Bap. And then bap, bap, bap. All right. I can get down with this jam. Got it. Is that a... It must be a lantern. I can go in the bathroom and investigate the body. See, this is the kind of point and click I like, where it's not like leaps and bounds of knowledge. That's what always bothers me in, in games like this, where the, oof. I 
Thanks for the key. I'll be on my way now. Leave the lantern. We, we have no use for lanterns. Uh, whatever. Wait, what needed a key? Ooh, the clippers. That's right. And then Kerchunk. And then mine. But what needed cable cutter? I clicked outside the game. What needed cable cutters? So obviously I can't just uh, turn off or clip a wire out here, can I? <laughs> you can! That's dangerous! That's That was an active wire, you... Jesus! Holy hell. Something like threw a tree at these people. Okay. Something. <laughs> Experiments. Great. Hey! Hey! What's the matter with you? Can I help you? Goodbye! <laughs> A boy and his horse. Claire Baines, age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped in the first gas station to contact, contact the authorities and inform what about the disturbing events she had witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of the road. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk, but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she had was, wasn't crazy after all, that she probably just saw something that not meant to be seen. Midnight Scenes, The Highway. Oh man, that's it? No! Oh, that was so good in such a short amount of time! There's probably there's probably more. I like when especially when it says um when it's telling you how much it um sorry, I'm trying to think. When it does like the 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 highway, there must be other chapters made by the same guy. I want to find more like that. That was really good. Well, there's his link to his Patreon if you want to support him. It's up to you. The only reason I I only I usually include these if I can if it's just out there just so if you guys see something you like you can back them you can go find their games you can give them all a shot because there's a lot of talented creators out there and you're definitely not going to find them all playing the triple a titles that most people play so that was really well done that was like a lot of story and a lot of mystery in a short amount of time i kind of wish it wasn't just like and then she escaped i wish there was more to it but i understand one it was probably it might have been a, j a game jam game which usually means you have like a day or two to make it but even if it's not that was really, really cool in such a short amount of time. It wasn't, there was no like leaps of logic that most point and click games where it's like, hey, you get the tire and then of course you stab it, then you take the rubber and then you wrap the rubber around the pole and then you cut like something stupid like that. That usually happens in a lot of point and click titles that, um, or if it's people's first games. But this guy, he must have done other things before because this is really well done. I swear I've seen the name Octavi Navarro before. But, um, I'll stop rambling. That's where I'll leave this video. I'll try to find the link so I can add it to the, add it to the stuff of, like, promotions at the end of the video. But, um, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and stick around. If you want to follow me in my real life, read my words, and follow my face, all of those links are in the description below me. And I'll see all you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. That was really cool. I mean, that's all I've said is it was really cool and really well done, but like...
there was a lot of talent just for a, just for himself. I hope you keep with it if you see this video.